15th March and I'm leaving from here everything's locked double checked lights turned off power supply cut and after that taps and all also shut and we're leaving dogs having their nap time over the holes that we did yesterday we had dug up all this for water supply yeah ah yaad rakh ja ane kada ave aave nahi andar hi jakuba chalo and that peacock went up i thought of taking a close up anyways we have to go to the opposite direction there it is the hotel had completely been washed off in the cyclone last year they've completely revamped it now solid one we'll have breakfast and leave this cow wanted a breakfast too my breakfast is done next we'll visit a temple nearby this is the only temple that i'm visiting in kutch right now otherwise it was last palitana they build a new temple over here otherwise this was the old one I'm an old one after the earthquake. <laughs> Next stop Gandhi Dam. Some accident. Thar wala chad raha hai kisi pe. With all the installation again this is the place where I was. and why was i here to install strobe lights from cruiser i'll show you that once i reach somewhere highway so this is uh, i'm in gandhi dam and this is vardhaman accessories this is the number 9978144412 they do royal enfield service also and they have accessories and everything this is pappu bhai he did all the installation for my bike and there's a dedicated video for the uh cruiser lights which we've installed behind right here which will come out after this episode sometime so let's move ahead i'm seeing such a long traffic jam in gandhi dam for almost the first time right from the railway station behind it's almost 1 km long all these trucks are standing and cars are stuck in it imagine i'm driving all the way 1000 km from pune i'm coming here and getting stuck in this stretch traffic i would get frustrated on the previous vlogs i was talking about this bridge every time i come there is something or the other work going on there earlier that was the only bridge available to go and come now they built this new one like couple of years ago maybe 2 years ago or so and now this is flooded with both side traffic and some day this also gets stuck See there, they've got only one lane to come, two lane to go, and this is stuck for some reason. This patch is being repaired. There's a railway line below. I hope it gets done in two three months. I need to come by car, and I should not have traffic over here. I'm like 150 kilometers uh, before Ahmedabad. It's to my uh, right. or if i stand like this to my left that's the gujarat highway i came from halwad uh, and all from this side the heat is simply unbearable i took one hours all to here had some lunch some thumbs up and in the end red bull and now this i worn this jacket from 98 degree fahrenheit this one i bought it in ibw like 2 years ago I didn't get a chance to wear because I didn't do any long rides. 
but uh, this time I was sure I need I will need it uh, on the way back because I'll be driving through hot climate, and that is what it is right now. Way too hot. Even if I'm standing inside the hotel, I can feel the heat wave. So I'm gonna try and use this and see uh, how it performs. So all you have to do is dip it in water. Uh, if you have cold water around, dip it in cold water or any normal tap water dip it for like two minutes and keep rinse it not completely partially and then start wearing it you can wear it under your riding jacket uh, so that all the cool breeze that passes through your jacket through the net and all uh, it's the jacket and jacket would cool down further and it would then cool your body too uh oh cattle crossing Anyways, it's just been two minutes that I started riding. It's uh, 2 30 p.m. right now in the afternoon, and I'm already feeling as if I'm riding inside some air-conditioned, you know, unit or something. What I did is I also, uh, you know, dipped my balaclava in water. So even my head is kind of cool right now, and my chest is absolutely having. I mean, I'm enjoying that cool breeze that is passing through so let's see how long does this last uh, I might have to you know uh, get down and re-wet this after an hour or so anytime you see this temporary dividers uh, and you're on a bike or maybe in a car or something please be careful because at many places these are like you know hit by vehicles oncoming and all and they come in your way or on the other side and there are chances you might tip over them we have cattle again last time it was goats this time it is goats and sheep and some cows Three forty-three. the west is uh, still cooling in some areas some areas it has gone dry completely at the back it is completely wet because there is no direct air hitting the back but it's no more hot enough it's almost 4 o'clock so maybe I'll take a stop somewhere after half an hour or something and take off the waist what is this? electric at night you don't have proper lights and you can't see this because this doesn't have tail lights either So I crossed Ahmedabad uh, like 45 minutes ago or maybe an hour ago then I halted for some lunch again passing Ahmedabad was pretty difficult lot of traffic diversions everything mixed up done 470.3 kilometers in 10.70 fuel 43.95 ka overall mileage I've got in sports mode with uh, city and highway use sports was mainly 80-90-80-90 constant cruising so let's reset it now again because sorry I've done a tank full and our ride so far is 1588 kilometers Pune is still 600 I think 600 kilometers more 845 p.m. Bharuch With a thotty, looking like Skybree, she got a body, ayy And she been calling me daddy lately Want me to put her in Cardi J's And the bitch deserve it Put it work for the money she earn it Give me top every night lip service Now I gotta block these hoes, she worth it I'm out of Abu Dhabi With a bad bitch, look like Skybree, ooh